Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to create any website in seconds with WebSim AI. This AI tool is going to blow your mind. Now, as you can see right here, I'm currently inside a website, much like a user interface of an Apple, right? However, this is just a website, so don't worry about that. So just to say, um, this is applicable for all devices, Windows and Apple devices. Now, once you're here, you're going to see the samples that I'm going to show you in a little while. Let me just open this one right here. So right here, this is going to be one sample that is created by a creator, of course. And right here, as you can see, if I change this to a spear, if I change it to a cube, and then the resolution, I can make it for max or for multiplied or for X. A texture, let's give it wood. Everything here is going to be real time update. And that is the power of this website. Take note, it did not type in any code, no Python involved, not even an hour long process. This is made via a few minutes only. Now let me check one more example. So welcome back to the video. Right here, this is one of the samples that I found more fascinating. As you can see right here, I am controlling this game car. I can shoot it, there is actually interaction in here. So, think of it as a game created in a website in just a few seconds. Again guys, there is no coding, there is no hours of intensified work involved, just a few minutes of having fun. Anyway, let me just teach you how to create this website in minutes, and let's go to it on the dashboard right now. So welcome back to the video. Right now, this is the dashboard again, and you can log in here via your Discord, and even your Google account, even a dummy one is okay. Now by the way guys, this is entirely for free, and I doubt that it will stay for free, because this is a very awesome device, or even a platform. Now, to get started here, this is a simple search bar. As you can see, it's powered by three or more than three different AI. Right now, I'm using Sonnet 3.5. And speaking of Sonnet, I have a video about it, so please check it out. We also have GPT-4, Haiku, Sonnet 3, Opus, but please choose Sonnet 3.5. And with this one, let me type in a powerful prompt. Let me just go to my notepad right here. So I'm going to type in this one because upon my research, a few of the problems having from freelancers or even workers online is a testimonial website. So with this one, I can just simply click off a button. So welcome back to the video. Right now, guys, I cannot really comprehend or really explain to you how powerful this website is. You saw right there with only a single prompt, this one right here, a testimonial collection website where customers can either supply written, an audio, or even a video testimonial, with that simple prompt, I have this website. So any other customers I have, they can just write their testimonial, leave an audio or video recording. These are the samples also that is actually basically a sample generated by AI. And these are the videos and how it should look like. Now, if you're satisfied with this one, of course, you can simply download it. Easy as that. You can even bookmark it or even click on random. Via random, it means really random website. Now let's make it more um, specific. I have here, this one right here, another prompt. So as you can see right here, there is a recent chat or context. What this means is, if you're using ChatGPT before or Claude, think of this on WebSim AI as a chat. So this is your previous chat. You can just enter a new one. It's just like talking to an AI, click enter, and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now with this one, this is the new design that we have created with a simple prompt. So again, guys, think of it as a modern chat. If you're talking with an AI, if you're having experience in ChatGPT before, just simply type your new reply. It will be keep everything the same. Just make this page dark mode. Let me just click on answer and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, I'm really amazed, even surprised how powerful WebSim AI is. Everything is the same entirely, but the difference is it's dark mode. Again, they can write or live an audio or video recording for here. Pretty awesome AI, right? Now let's try um changing the URL. Again, guys, this is the right in chat, right? So it works as a recent chat. It will focus on the most recent thing you said. So I suggest if you want to edit URL, for example, you want to go to the written page as of how, simply delete the first two. So it will not focus on the entire chat because this is a different approach right now. 
So I'm just going to simply click on enter. I'm going to leave, leave this one, by the way, because this is just a dark mode. So I'm going to simply click on enter and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, this is the written tab or section. So if you're seeing this on your end, you might forgot on removing the first two conversations from earlier. So please remove them. And with this, you can even select a technology or even imply your name and such more and submit the testimonial. Now, right now, I know what you're thinking. How can I change the colors of the website? So it's pretty simple. Just apply this mode or rather choose a specific prompt. For this, I'm going to type in keep everything exactly the same so I can support the prompt. And with the second part with this one, but use these two colors. I'm going to apply a hex code and you heard me right. I suggest or rather strongly suggest you see hex code and changing the color. And now simply click on enter and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. As you can see, the font is different. The fonts right there are different because I have used a hex code. Don't just type in red or red or yellow or yellow or yellow or green on the top section right here. I strongly suggest use a hex code. Now let me just save this bookmark as it is. And then let me just type in testimonial hub written testimonial. I can publish this one if I'm satisfied. And by the way, guys, this is the link. If you just copy it and send it to your friends. And right now I have successfully saved it as a bookmark. Also, I can click on the heart icon right here, basically right there, and basically save it also as a website itself. Also, you can click on download here. Easy as that. Now, since we already tried written, how about let's go for audio. And right now you don't have to delete the first two because we're already in here. So simply click on enter and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now this is the recording. There is a start audio recording option, submit tutorial. And with this one, I can just simply click on bookmark, click on save, and click on bookmark right there. And with this one, it's gonna be audio. And make sure it's right here. Pretty awesome tool. And since we're done with audio, how about let's go all the way to video. Now we have covered written, we have audio, and lastly, we only need to go for video and it's right here in a few seconds. So I did not skip the video because I want to show you how fast this AI works. So right now it's currently generating the video section and here we have it. Pretty awesome AI, right? Pretty awesome, pretty fast. And best of all, it's totally free as of now. I'm not quite sure when it will be paid. So as long as it's free right now, please try it out. So let me just save it as it is. Since this is video, make sure it's a video and make sure I can just publish. The link is right here. Everything is good to go. So we have written, we have audio, we have video. We have checked them out. There's a tips right here for your customers to bring it more enticing. Right now, you can do a lot of things here. But for now, I can just simply add a button right here that says I'm going to type in here, record your test testimonial now. Let me just fix this spelling right here and simply click on enter and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video right here. This is your record to testimonial button right there. And I want to try one more just to make it to the extent. So everything is the same, but the call to action button is the only different. Click on enter and I'll see you once it's here. So welcome back to the video right now. Here is going to be our new page and simply bookmark it to make sure it's here. And right now, if I go back on the web sim AI and I go to my last creation, as you can see right here, so everything here is going to be all the way. Pretty awesome, right? By the way, you can check everything you created on the left side and simply choose which one you go through. And that's it. Now, just to add a little more information for you guys is if you want to share, as I mentioned from earlier, there are two ways. You can copy the URL here and then share it to your friends or which is a much more safer way is copying this URL right here. So do please copy this one testify.com because this is not the URL you want to copy. This is the one you want to copy. So if you're using a MacBook, it should be around the top section middle part. But since I'm using a window, it should be around this one. So if I copy this and then open a new tab, paste it right here, click enter, it will open up this exact landing page same as before also you're gonna see here that there are home testimonials submit and about if i click here there is no functionality because there isn't yet a function for it each of those sections right here are not yet functionable 
If you want to go in each of one of them, you can just type in here. For example, I'm gonna type in about, and I'll see you once it's here. Alright, welcome back to the video. Right now in here is gonna be our about section, and please take note that I created it with mere seconds. I just added the about section on the link we're trying to do here. Take note, if you want to copy this page, please do not copy this one right here, but get this one. This is the one you want. The copy of the link inside the URL itself. And basically that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.